actually proven this in my other playthrough, you can still become a werewolf. We do this in secret because Codlack is too busy trying to throw away. Of course, it also removes your vampire lord. There was at one time that it actually glitched and let me keep my vampire lord, and that was a hilariously stupid glitch because I never fucking used it. But yeah, you can. It, since this is scripted, it bypasses the 100% disease resistance. Very well. And you get the ability to turn into a vampire lord. Of course, I do not know if it works the other way around as well, but I do know for a fact that it at least works like this. So let's partake. And screen goes black. And we lose Vampire Lord. But now we gain the Beast form. So now we can become a werewolf once a day. Even though it's just once a day, I found ways around the annoyances of only being once a day. We go on and show off the werewolf tree real quick. The werewolf is by far one of the most overpowered things I've ever had. With the bestial or bestial strength at max, running if you run and quickly tap the attack button, you do that lunge attack, which does a boatload of damage. didn't do too much damage there, but that's only because my bestial strength isn't too terribly good. With the bestial strength at max, you essentially... How do I explain this? With the bestial strength at max, you can kill an elder dragon, which is a tier 4 dragon, on the hardest difficulty in 5 hits. It's just that fucking powerful. Of course, then there's a whole matter of... Then there's the whole problem of... Oh, hey, I'm just gonna float here and mock you. Did you hear something? But yeah, in my personal opinion... The, uh... my personal opinion, the, uh... What is it? I forget. Are you... Anyways, like I was saying, in my personal opinion, the werewolf form is definitely much better than the dragon form. I mean, vampire lord form. I was starting to think you might never come back. Yours was not an easy transformation, but you're so still viewers. Alive, so congratulations. Now that we I've got the werewolf form, once I complete this mission with Alo or whatever her name is, because I'm terrible at pronouncing shit. I think you've met them before. I'm going to be off-screening like I did with the vampire and max out beast form. Where are we going? The Silver Hand have taken over the old fort at Gallows Rock. They always make such easy. In order to upgrade Beast Form, unlike I'll take my the list. unlike uh, Vampire Lord, Beast Form, you need to eat dead bodies. This is also how you regenerate health. So let's give this shit a test. And this is why I hot barred all of my armor, because whenever you go into beast form, all of your armor, all of your weapons, all of your everything will be unequipped. And that's kind of annoying. Beast form, of course, also is not a permanent thing, unlike the uh, vampire lord form. So you can't just sit here for an unlimited amount of time and 
just do nothing. However, you can extend the beast form by, of course, also eating hearts. This uh, extends your blood rage. Um, gonna go on and quickly show y'all how I'm gonna do my leveling. You can level up however y'all want, but I'm gonna start off by coming over here just that way I can get Savage Feeding, and Savage Feeding will make upgrading and fighting generally as a werewolf much, much easier. Because, come on. Why not just do the easy way? So yeah, basically four levels going all the way over to Savage Feeding. This will also get net me a health upgrade, but more importantly the whole Savage Feeding thing. Then I'll fill out Bestial Strength and pick whatever other ones I want at random. Don't really matter to me. Unlike, unlike the Vampire form, uh, you only get two things. Get your roar, which will scare off enemies who are lower level than you. Even if a boss is lower the level than you, it won't be scared off, which is kind of annoying to me, but oh well. But it'll be able to scare enemies at least that are lower level than you. And uh, you get your basic attack. As you upgrade in uh, the werewolf tree, you will also gain certain abilities that will affect your roaring, but uh, I hardly ever even notice that they happen. Oh, where'd the other body go? Oh well. But yeah, whenever I go into uh, beast form, you'll see me quite a bit just sit here and do the quick run forward lunge. Just because it's so quick, it knocks down lower level, it, it knocks down humanoid enemies. And more importantly, it does so much fucking damage. If you miss the small window of opportunity that is doing the lunge at the very beginning of your start, you need to actually run much further in order to be able to lunge. Like there, there's a small window of but small window of opportunity that you have in order to be able to uh, do that lunge right off. Come on. There we go. If you want to knock down an enemy like that, you need to move forwards, and then you will be able to knock them down. And there's a guy behind me shooting. Hi. Uh, that was fun. I may as well go on and pick up my bestial strength. I can get animal vigor, which gives me more health. Freaking gorging, which increases the amount of health that I get from nom nom nomming. And finally, savage feeding, which lets me om nom nom on who the fuck ever I please. And you're just a skeever. Yay. Damn you, Mini Moose. But yeah, there's a small window of opportunity uh, when you start your run, but basically just as soon as you start running, that's when you should start tapping the attack button, and you'll get your quick lunge out. Come on and let's hello do this. Ah. Uh, Dub dub dub. Thanks for the grub. Jerk. 
These guys do have weapons that have been specially crafted to fuck you up. So you gotta be kinda careful about that. You think you're about to die? Why not save? If you think you're about to die, why not Zoidberg? Are you gonna be stupid enough to come out here? Yes, you are. Ah, damn it. For some reason, they just did not knock him down. They're like, oh, by the way, brick wall. So let's try this once more. Um, unlike the vampire lord form, werewolves have a basic leather armor. So you can take slightly more damage than Vampire Lord. But, uh, yeah. If you're fighting against enemies like the Silver Hand, they've got weapons that are specially crafted to murder you, so you gotta kinda be careful at times. So I guess now is as good as time as any to wait for our Aloe to get knocked down again. Roar! If you use your roar, enemies will start running away. So you gotta be careful, cause if you go that way you'll alert the chief. And it looks like they're bringing them anyways. And every single fucking one of them. Wonderful. Knock knock, motherfuckers. Uh, the, the only other drawback that I can even possibly think of about playing when being a werewolf is the matter of you having half, half, half to be close range in order to do any damage. Because unlike the vampire lord, you don't, you just don't have a ranged attack. And in cases such as dragons that you see here or enemies that are constantly backing away. It just becomes problematic. Rather annoying if I do say so myself. Come on, give me an arm arm. Yes, more health. Delicious. And then I just get shot the fuck down. I cannot bet. Wonderful. You know, game, I was hoping to be able to just blow through this so that way I can get to my off screen grinding. But no. Fucking pricks. attack just wanted to work. And that's what I was talking about with the uh, lunge attack.
if you miss the very small window of opportunity, it's just not going to happen. Well, that was just a fail. You're a dis <sighs> Fantastic. Now, of course, what I'm going to do as the werewolf is exact. You call really? What I'm going to do as a werewolf will be the exact same thing I did as the uh, vampire form. I'm just going to roam the countryside slaughtering everybody that isn't a named person. White run guards, uh, forerunners, or bucktards, you know, the basic rigmarole of moronic behavior. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? You pop around the corner, then immediately pop me. Okay, fine. If you're gonna play it this way, I'm gonna play it my own damn way. A way that ensures you're gonna die and the other person ain't gonna fuck me up while I'm trying to eat your shins. She goes, roar, fuck you, nom 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 nom. And then comes another. Enemies will always stay in fear as long as you stay within a close proximity to them. So try and keep that in mind. Come back, I just want to nom your shins. Fucking prick. What you get? Finally, I got my health upgrade. Much better. See, that's a locked door, so I'll try that later. Oh, by the way, how I do on or how I upgrade my lock picking skill is, you know, the master lock that I was telling y'all about over in uh, over in Riften's Guild Hall or Riften Thieves Guild Hall. Uh, Holy shit, that was fucking awesome! Just launched his ass up! Anyways, like I was saying, the master lock over in the ripped in guild hall, after you lockpick it, uh, after a certain amount of time has passed, the lock will become unlocked, and or the lock will become relocked. And you can just sit there and try over and over. Of course, if you relock, uh, if you re-unlock it, you won't actually get the experience from unlocking it. However, if you say break 300,000 picks on it, it will still count as you trying to unlock it. So it will upgrade your freaking skill. I'm kind of sad that didn't kill him. That would have been awesome. Just launch. <laughs> okay. 
somehow they managed to kill Skiora. He was one of the strongest we had. But numbers were never gone. He should not have come without a shield brother. Get out of here. I'm going to make sure we've got the last of them and see if there's any information to be gotten from the bodies. You and I have work to do. The silver hand will tremble at our sight. Where's my next target? The silver hand has been scouring the world for more pieces of blue scrap. One group is hidden out in the rift. Get it back. I got it. I made that guy blast off Team Rocket style. By the way, don't forget to om nom nom on him too. Because he can. And every little bit. So yeah, viewers. I'm gonna go on pull a twenty four hour shift and uh finish exploring this place. And this is why I was talking about with ways around only being able to use it once a day. Why not if you're just gonna wait, if you're waiting for the werewolf form to wear off, just advance it 24 hours so you can immediately have access to it once more. And of course, don't forget to re-equip re all of your crap. Sure gotta go burr, burr. Okay, yeah, good. You can search this crap, but it's all crap. Human blood, I shall take that. Where's that chief's dead body? Da 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 da, torch to the rescue. There it is. Orcus shield, Nordic carved armor. And the use of Selvin Dagger, okay. Sometimes you'll have a enchanted item on him, which I usually just use to disenchant. This is something I've already disenchanted, so then I just sell it. But yeah, what I did with my lock picking is I went over to Rift and bought up as many lockpicks as I possibly could, which put me at about 400 lockpicks. And that right there let me gain quite a few levels in lockpicking just by sitting there holding left or right on the D-pad. Because, as I explained just a couple seconds ago, your skill will go up even if you don't successfully pick the lock. They can just sit there and get like mac, mac, like a thousand lock picks and just sit there trying to open it. And that's what I advise you guys doing as well, viewers, is just go to Riften, join the Thieves Guild, and attempt to, and just constantly, constantly, constantly try and open a master lock. Don't succeed, just, just try and open it. Basically, have it facing straight up unless that's the once out of every one billion times chance of actually happening answer to the lock pick. I could go around lockpick all doors that are closed during the night and locked, but I just, eh, why do that when I can just sit by my?
but why do that when I can just sit in Riften with a master lock and open it? I'm gonna borrow your soul. Or not. Thanks for the soul, Broham. And that's what happens if you if you use soul trap on an enemy and kill it. If you've got a soul gem on you, it will fill up the soul gem. At least a little bit. So keep that in mind. The reason why I didn't mind putting a... Actually, what I should have done, that way I would have more charges, is put a if kill enemy within one second. Because if generally I'm going to be one-shotting these enemies anyways. But the way I figured it is, hey, I'm going to be potentially upgrading my weapon anyways, so why well, uh, worry too much about it. Now, un I have gotten comments about this on my last attempt at Let's Playing this game. Yes, I know that upgraded other weapons are stronger than the Blade of Woe. I'm just talking about base, not upgraded power. The Blade of Woe, I do believe, is the strongest dagger in the uh, game. Come on, how am I dancing around this on a novice lock? Thank you. So I do believe that was everything from in here. Uh, next time I guess viewers I will go on and... Yeah, sure looks that way. So yeah, next time I do believe I'll just go on and meet y'all over next to where I need to go for the next, uh, for the next, excuse me lady, can I borrow your soul? I didn't think it was necessary to go into these form just to om nom nom on one person's heart. But yeah, I'll uh, go on and see y'all next time where this waypoint is telling us to go. We'll see y'all soon, viewers.